you know, this is the fourth year of the early signing period. Uh, probably a little more challenging this year uh, than in most years because of the absence of being able to have contact. Uh, but a lot of people did a really, really good job. You know, we recruit as a team here at Alabama. Uh, we get a lot of support in the university community. Uh, we get a lot of support in every area of our program, whether it's personal development, academic support, uh, sports medicine, sports science. And good evening, everyone. I'm Gary Harris. Nick Saban has reason to be pleased. It is indeed National Signing Day. And once again, Alabama has put together the top-rated signing class in the country. Alabama signed 24 players on Wednesday. They may not be done. We're going to highlight some of the in-state guys that ink with the Crimson Tide. And we begin with the state's top prospect, Jaquincy Kool-Aid McKinstry from Class 6A state champion Pinson Valley High School. He's one of the top 25 prospects in the country. He'll also play basketball at Alabama. He was named the MVP of the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star game last weekend, as well as the Class 6A state championship game. He picked off six passes during his junior year at cornerback. And as a senior, playing both ways, he caught 45 passes for seven. 706 yards and 11 touchdowns. He'll probably play defense at Alabama. Crimson Tide's always building depth in the secondary, and McKinstry should make a legitimate push for early playing time. He was recruited by Carl Scott and plans to enroll early at UA. I feel good. Now I can finally focus on what's more important, and that's to get to the next level, which is the lead. Everybody knows what Bama can do for you outside of football, outside of any sport. So, I mean, that was very important, and um, I feel like Bama can take care of anybody lifelong. Staying in the Birmingham area, Ramsey interior defensive lineman Tim Keenan signed with Alabama today. He has a classic nose tackle body type, but he can be more than a run stuffer and has shown the ability to collapse the pocket. As a senior, he was credited with 23 tackles, seven sacks, three forced fumbles, and three fumble recoveries before suffering a season-ending knee injury. He was recruited by Carl Scott. Tim, why did you choose Bama? Alabama, you know, I feel like that's the best opportunity for me for me to be uh, successful. You know, it's close to home, and a lot of greats from my uh, hometown have been great for like Quentin Williams, Marcel Darius, Deron Payne, and they're now DJ Dale. Great examples for him. Let's head south to the capital city of Montgomery and Lee High School defensive line standout Anquin Barnes. Barnes committed to Alabama in April. The big lineman who checks in at 6'5 and 320 pounds is ranked as one of the state's top 20 players. And UA took him early, so maybe he's even a little bit underrated by the National Recruiting Services. He racked up 55 tackles and six sacks as a junior. He played both ways again as a senior and was credited with 14 pancake blocks on the offensive line. He plans to enroll next year. Barnes was recruited by Charles Kelly. And Prattville line Backer Ian Jackson inked with the Tide this afternoon. He committed to the Tide in May. Jackson already has good size and should be able to add another 10 to 15 pounds during his time at UA. He projects as a rare three down linebacker at the inside linebacker position. He's been compared to Dylan Moses. Jackson posted 83 tackles, including 10 for loss, two sacks, and an interception as a senior. He said he knew Bama was for him. The competitive nature they have there, you know, the way they made me a priority during the recruitment process, uh, you know, it stuck out to me a lot and uh, made me love them from the time I got offered until May when I committed. And so, um, you know, ever since then, I've been, you know, really ready for this day. I mean, I've been ready for it since I was young, but, you know, when I committed and I knew that, you know, it really could happen, I was really, really ready for that day. Let's jump over to the Magnolia State. Kadarius Callaway is regarded as one of Mississippi's top three prospects. The Philadelphia high school star flipped to Alabama this past July. He has the ability to play receiver or safety, but most expect that he'll wind up on defense. He should also become a quality special teams player. Playing both ways as a junior, Callaway had 12 touchdown catches and 11 interceptions. He's a physical kid. Well, earlier this evening here in Tuscaloosa, Paul Bryant Stampede star cornerback Brylon Lanier signed with Georgia State University in Atlanta. Despite the fact that Bryant played only seven games in 2020 due to COVID issues. Lanier still managed to rack up 38 tackles with seven pass breakups and two forced fumbles. He told us tonight that he was impressed by the recruiting pitch made to him by Panthers head coach Sean Elliott. Like since the beginning, mm -hmm. um, Coach Peebles, Coach Elliott, they just always been in contact. They just always felt like home. Just him talking to me every day, like a head coach calling my phone every day, talking to me, checking on me. Just feel like home. He's a really good player. A couple of other notes on Alabama. The Tide flipped two LSU commits today. Keanu Coat and wide receiver JoJo Earl committed to LSU, signed with Alabama. Also, Bama basketball wins tonight over Nickel State, 86-46. Jasmine Walker scored her 1,000th 1, career point. Catch me on the radio in the morning, 9 a.m. with the Gary Harris Show. We'll be back after this.